Right, okay, welcome back to Steel Pump TV. Thank you for joining the Average Golfer impromptu video and uh, a little bit last minute, I'm afraid. Lots of things we've got to go through in a very short video. So let's get straight into the title of the video is yes, the Average Golfer has appeared finally in a video that has gone viral. Thomas's, Jordan Spieth's, Dustin Johnson's. No is the short answer. I've been intrigued to hit this question a lot. Do you think he'll return to his previous form? No. Do you think he stands a chance of being the Tiger Woods we once knew? No. No, no, no. Here's what's gonna happen. He is not ever gonna win another tournament. I don't think we'll ever see Tiger Woods win a golf tournament again. He's showing up at these tournaments. So yeah, if you're looking for betting predictions, then don't come this way, because clearly I know absolutely zero about golf, as demonstrated there by Scratch TV on a Twitter clip that has had five and a half million views. Fantastic. The one thing I get completely wrong goes viral, but uh, great fun to be involved in the video and add lots of stick off lots of people. Keep those messages coming and uh, look out for some future predictions. I think I'll make one now. Europe will not win the Ryder Cup this weekend. Anyway, straight away, let's get into the prize, the bigger prize. We've got two prizes. We've got a prize to give away from. Two weeks ago, I asked you, the audience, to come up with the competition that we're gonna run over the Ryder Cup weekend. And lots of you got involved, lots of suggestions. And if I'm honest with you, I've gone for something that is very straightforward in terms of how people can get involved in the competition itself. So what the competition is, the question is, who will sink the winning putt of the Ryder Cup this weekend, okay? So that's, that, that's the question that you've got to answer to win the bigger prize, which well, I will announce very, very shortly. But in the first instance, we've got to, what do we get? I'm looking over, I've got six people who suggested that was the name, or that was how we run the competition. And what I said was, we would give away, we had, uh, few dozen boxes of these to give away. Uh, limited edition, athlete edition, TPX, uh, TP5 X's and TP5 golf balls. So a dozen of those will be coming to either, I'll give you the names that are going into the hat very shortly. We had Alan Edwards, Chris Burgess, Super Rossi is it, or Super RO551, Andy Wood, Kevin Farrell, and David Fletcher. They are the six people all suggested this is how we run the competition. So I'm now gonna tear those pieces of paper up, they're gonna go into a hat over here and I'm gonna pick out a winner. One of you will be getting a dozen TP5s or TP5Xs of your choice. Right, we are back and the winner is Chris Burgess. So Chris Burgess, you need to uh, send an email to andy at tuplo.co.uk and we can talk about uh, what delivery address these are gonna be sent to. You've just won yourself a dozen TP5 or TP5Xs. Courtesy of Taylor Maid. thank you Taylor Maid. Right, now then, I will get onto the bigger price in terms of what it is uh, for this competition over the Ryder Cup weekend very, very shortly. But before that, a couple of things I wanna get onto. We did another video earlier this week, and I put it out Monday evening, I think. It was whereby we got five different golfers, five handicaps, five different opinions, as we called it. Uh, I mean, we're talking five different swing speeds, different handicaps, different age categories, and we got them all to test the i500. I absolutely loved the making of the video. I love being involved in it. It took pretty much most of the day on Monday, so it's very time consuming. Uh, it's a lot of effort. It's a lot of effort from the people who got involved, who traveled and give up their time to get involved, to give you that information, which again, brilliant. I mean, I really, like I said, I think, well, judging by the response, it's something they're gonna to continue to do because the comments on their video are fantastic. The likes, the views, everything about it was suggesting that you wanna see more of it. So that's exactly what we're gonna do. It's something that I really want to get the channel known for. It is team average at the end of the day. I've always done this from the perspective of the average golfer. Never claimed to be great at it in golf balls, but uh, always given my opinion. 
on how I see it from the perspective of the average golfer and what better idea than to get more average golfers involved from a broader spectrum uh, of like I said age, um, handicaps, all the rest of it. So that went absolutely brilliant so thanks to all the watches, uh, watched. If you didn't uh, see that one then uh, I'll stick the link down below and uh, just check out that video because it was uh, like I said really enjoyed the making of that one. Right next what have I been doing? So I've been doing a lot more testing. Um, I teamed up with PXG again last week. Um, really interesting for me because again the first video that I did was PXG was probably two months ago having never seen the clubs in the flesh. I was majorly impressed I made no secret of the fact and we again I'm not going to discuss money but in terms of the product it was superb in terms of how I felt it performed and I caught the eye or a driving eye and caught my eye when I was testing and I did say that if they return to four golf that I would have to return and give that a go and that's exactly what I did on uh, Monday morning that was so yeah how did that video turn out well here's a little clip collect some data I just want to talk about how it looks visually sat behind the ball and for me um, it's not as bulky as I expected to be quite honest with you. a lot of the driving irons that we've seen on the market of late have got quite a bit of bulk quite a bit of mass behind or at least when you sit that club head behind the ball quite a lot of the back of the club is visible and it's not in this case so full video on that one probably be up it might even be up tonight along with this one i'll see how i get on in terms of the editing so there could be two videos out tonight uh the next thing i tested last week again was uh, the strix and driver the new strix and driver i think it's a 765 again don't quote me on that bit problem i had in terms of producing the video was i have not got the club i literally had a very short access to it for uh, an hour or so um, and I didn't have filming equipment with me, it was a pure by chance thing. I'm going to see if I can get put a video together and get hold of the club for a little bit longer. What I can tell you is, it is, in my opinion, in the space that I had it, very impressive, really impressive. I was able to get fitted in it quite quickly, use a 10 side blue shaft that I've been using quite a lot of the drivers of late. Um, so maybe spend more time tweaking it in terms of performance but what i got out of it numbers wise it was very very good indeed it performed very very consistently this is not an official review but it's my immediate reaction to it and it's uh, 349 it's arguably sort of every new driver now is above 400 quid so it's pitched in at the right price we'll see how that one goes like i said i'll try and get a full video on that very very soon but i've got to say on first look, first try, really impressed with that Strix and Driver. I've got, uh, yeah, interesting. What will come of that, by the way, if you've not, I'm still putting out videos for the series of the um, head to heads with the drivers. I think I've put three out so far, there's a couple more to come TS2, M4, and at the end of it, there'll be a video sometime next week where I will end up with the top five drivers in my opinion and that's about all it is of 2018 and let me tell you there's not a great deal to split them just very quickly before i announce what the prizes are they're all spread around me at the moment uh, on a personal level out to costa brava a week friday so that's i think it's the 5th of october and there for four days more filming which is come courtesy of uh, the support of the channel I'm going to be playing a number of courses but on the final day or two days it's at PGA Catalonia which I absolutely cannot wait to do so plenty of vids coming from there um, that's about the update I will get back onto the taggers wall and we'll do some prize from that as well but I've got to get onto the prize that we're going to do for this weekend so it's going to coincide with the fact that I think fingers crossed without tempting fate I should at the same during the Ryder Cup weekend I should uh, hit the 10,000 subscriber mark so I don't like tempting fate but we're very very close so we should get there um, so team average gets to 10,000 subscribers the army grows which is fantastic um, so it's all sort of combined this competition so we're going to be there'll be another it'll start off there'll be a dozen TP5 or TP5X's athlete edition golf balls that we're giving away we have got one of the team average polo shirts that'll either be a Nike or a Callaway polo shirt I've got things like ball markers and um, the um, pin badges the average golfer pin badges we've got average golfer caps but the bigger prize that's being thrown into the mix is somewhere behind me and I'm going to be giving away the M4 hybrid uh, from TaylorMade uh, it's a three hybrid 19 degrees 
it's a pretty decent prize uh, to be given away to be fair I'm quite really pleased with that once again uh, thank you to TaylorMade for supporting the channel uh, and assisting in this giveaway and all you've got to do is in this video you've got a name the person the golfer who holds the winning putt in the Ryder Cup your entries must be in before the teams are announced for the final day of the singles okay so anybody who uh, puts because obviously it's all timed when you make a comment so anyone who puts a comment in after the singles team has been announced you won't be included because there's a little bit of a obviously a bit of a heads up there once the team has been announced for or the order of play uh, for the final day so it's got to be before that so you're gonna have to have a little bit of a think you're gonna have to second guess um, Bjorn and Fjorik and you're gonna think about who they're gonna put up in the singles it's a real tough I think it's a tough one to pick in terms of trying to get this right but someone will win all of that uh, or at least I hope you will if somebody gets it right I'm not sure how we'll have a tiebreaker we'll think of something uh, but that's all you do comment in this video below I just want to know who you think will sink the winning putt of this Ryder Cup I'm gonna go enjoy the Ryder Cup uh, it's gonna be as ever no doubt it'll be a fantastic tournament whoever wins I'll be cheering on Team Europe um, but it's a tall order I think but let's hope my prediction of Europe not winning might be as good as my prediction of Tiger Woods never winning again. We'll have to wait and see. Anyway, as ever, thanks for watching. Thumbs up, whatever you want to do and all that. But main thing is, is to get into this competition. Comment down below. See you soon.